everyone welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview this is for the game between up and bangalore i'm previewing this on the fan to play app and keep in mind that you downloaded link is in the description 200% bonus on your first deposit and smash the like button before we start this video i hope all of you are participating in the women's premier t20 leaderboard it's an awesome one for all of you to take part in there are some top prizes and it'll help you warm up for the ipl too so now let's look at the best base team we can make here and we start off straight with the keeping section where Elisa Healy and Richa Ghosh become your best choices. Not too much doubt in here. In the batting section, Sophie Devine been in good touch. You can pick her without any doubt. Heather Knight did not have a great last game but I think will have an important role. Especially with the pitches getting slower, spin will play an important part. Some more surprise picks may be from this section but we'll start with the all-rounders and bowlers before that. Tahilia Megra, Elise Perry. Dipti Sharma all will be very very obvious choices looking at the opposition and looking at the kind of tracks on offer and all round value will always be of good use to you and hence all three of them become very important choices. In the bowling again there are some lock picks here in Sophie Eccleston, Megan Shoot and Rajeshwari Gaikwad to a point because we know that the RCB middle order is full of right handers and is full of foreign batters some of whom struggle against left arm spin so hence Rajeshwari and Sophie Eccleston become prime picks for you. Sophie Eccleston is someone who I'll also consider for captaincy and vice captaincy when she bowls first. Same for Megan Shoot when she is bowling first. While in the all-rounders, the obvious captaincy choice for you will be Elise Perry. Looking at the kind of form that she's been in and even though those 50s have come, they've come at a slightly slower pace which would mean that when she is batting in the second innings, it would be slightly suspect. Because you might not have the luxury to bat at your own pace and being able to hit one shot after another might lead to a wicket in her case. So will be interesting to see how that goes about. So these are my base 10 players and now it's time for the 11th player of this team and I'm hoping that it's this game. I've dropped her game after game and... Uh, I've got a lot of criticism for it but I think that if she's playing here, as in obviously she'll be playing here but I think this kind of opposition so if you look at the UP bowling she played a rash shot to Gaikwad last time but I don't see anybody threatening her really unless and un until it's a fresh pitch and then these two come into play but otherwise I do not see that happening especially if it's a used pitch so I think Smriti Mandana can finally come good and hence I'm finally picking her in this team. One rotation that I'm likely to make, especially if it's a use pitch and in which case I'll pick Smriti, is I'll probably leave Richa Ghosh and take Grace Harris. Now I'll discuss my GL rotations in my GL section but for now this is my base team and uh, captain I'm going for now is Sophie Eccleston and vice captain that I'm going for at the moment is Dipti Sharma. So a few punt picks there but I've explained the logic of why I'm not going with Elise Perry. Obviously that is situational and I'll go with her based on that situation of when she is batting first, bowling second. Now who are my GL picks from here? My GL picks are Grace Harris. My other GL pick from here is Devika Vedya. And my GL pick from the bowling section is Anjali Sarwani and Renuka Singh, Shabnam Ismail. Now I'll tell you the situations in which I'll pick these players. I'll pick Grace Harris when she is batting first and bowling second obviously. Devika Vedya, if she is batting first and bowling second because she is likely to open the batting and if the pitch gets slower then her leg spin will come into play even though she's not been used much. Shabna Ismail and Anjali Sarwani if it's a fresh pitch and if they are bowling first over and above that. So you can pick these guys only if they are bowling first fresh pitch. Same situation for Renuka Singh if both these criterions match in. Because then they will come into play. Otherwise, it's very difficult for me to see either of these two coming into play. Shabna Ismail, maybe if she's bowling second too. But otherwise, yeah. these That is the scenario in which I would pick all of these players. Shriyanka Patil, much spoken about. You can try her out in a few teams if you want to. So, this sums up my base team. I hope all of you hit the like button. And for all of you that are interested, you can stay tuned. Exchange 22 picks now on you. Now we come to the exchange 22 picks for UP versus RCB. So let's see what are the best choices that we have. We start off straight with the UP team and I think Sophie Eccleston when bowling first at 42 is great value. And I'll surely try her in that scenario. Rajeshwari Gaikwad when bowling second at 20 is good value. Shabnam Ismail when bowling first on a fresh pitch is good value. 
from the rcb side of things uh, now smriti is slightly underpriced at 38 so i think she'll be worth trying in that scenario elise perry will be a and yes this should i don't know if it will be a surprise but she'll be a sell call for me if she is batting second so yes those are the picks that i have from here renuka singh you all obviously know if it's a fresh pitch i'll try her otherwise not and again the app link for this is in the description i hope all of you enjoyed this preview hit the like button before you leave and i want all of you to comment and let me know that finally will rcb win a match or not do let me know and thank you so much for tuning in